So this was me a year ago and this is me now. And this is my guide to have the ultimate summer glow up. Now I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I have had a major glow up, both physically and mentally, all starting from about two years ago till today. Just reaching my full potential and I am here to tell you guys how I achieve this and how you all can reach your full potential too. In this video I'll be covering some instant things that you can do this summer to instantly approve your outward appearance. Also some more long-term habits that I have implemented into my routine over for the last two years that I think have hugely helped and the mentality that we are going to have for this summer. And quickly, before I start the video, I wanted to say that this video is sponsored by HelloFresh and I'll be talking more about them later on in the video. So let's get straight into it. The first thing I did as soon as school finished and summer started is get my nails done. This year, I went for some simple, pretty basic, classy French tips that little heart on one of the nails. I have a Pinterest board designated to different nail designs I like if you want to check that out. I've linked my Pinterest below. But getting your nails done, I love having my nails done makes me feel 10 times better instantly. Number two, which is another sort of more pricey form of physical self-care, getting your lashes done. I like to get my lashes lifted and tinted, but this can also be extensions. And within this, I'm also gonna say use a lash serum. I use the ordinary one and I've genuinely found that as like improved my lashes so much, made them stronger, made them longer. But taking care of your lashes, I think also getting your lashes done and just waking up in the morning with your lashes like looking good makes me feel so much better like on the outside outwardly about my appearance. Also, they just sort of elevate your look, you know? Like I just always feel like when I have my lashes done, it enhances my natural, my natural beauty, even though they're lashes. Oh, I love them. Do they feel good? But getting my lashes done is definitely just a form of physical self-care that I love to do. Now I'm gonna start with the basics and then go into more niche advice that worked for me a little bit later on in the video so make sure you keep watching for that but I'm going to remind you guys of the basics that I do that you've probably heard a million times but a reminder and some motivation to do these and the first one is sleep now let me show you my skin when I had a bad sleep schedule during exams it was awful I was breaking out all the time also when I don't sleep my eye bags are puffier my face is puffier I just look tired and not only physically but mentally I don't know about you guys but if I have three to four nights of inconsistent sleep. I am so groggy, I don't feel productive, I don't have any motivation. I'm just in a bad mood, like you would not want to talk to me after four days or four nights, three nights of no sleep. Get in your beauty sleep, whether this is sleeping earlier, waking up later, having naps, whatever, get your sleep. Next thing is something that the wellness girlies have been saying for a long time and something that I feel like a lot of people will do, for, you know, maybe the first week or two and then just forget including me sometimes to be fair but drinking water now i have a little array of my favorite water bottles that i love to go to a little tip i have if you're struggling to drink water right now is buy yourself a cute water bottle and then you'll drink from it more but drinking water is so good for you i don't know the science behind it. i always hear about how good it is but also for me it'll just clear up my skin it makes me feel less bloated if i'm honest and also recently i've been having these like greens that i saw all over tiktok and i bought it after seeing anna archer use it because i love anna archer and they are from free soul sisters this isn't sponsored but i've been having this every morning for about the past two weeks and i put it into a glass with a squeeze of lemon some ice and i drink it through a straw every morning this gets in lemon so my vitamins all my greens and then i chug a big like that big glass of water every morning. So I would highly recommend doing something like that every morning if you do struggle to take in water throughout the day. Obviously that is better, but if not, just make it a habit into your morning routine. The next one is obvious and obviously a more long-term one, but I'm here to remind you about exercise and the benefits of exercise. Obviously we all know the physical benefits, like whatever your fitness goals are, whether that's to get stronger, to be more toned, to you know improve at your sport. Obviously going to the gym and doing exercise is going to improve that. But mentally, when I tell you exercise, Exercise, I think is the biggest thing that has an impact on me mentally. Like if I'm having a really bad day or I'm feeling overwhelmed, I've got a lot of things on my mind, I will go to the gym or go for a run and just clear my thoughts. Also the amount of happiness you feel after completing a good workout. Okay, I looked up on Google and it says when you exercise, it increases endorphins, dopamine, adrenaline and endocannabinoid. And these are all brain chemicals associated with feeling happy, feeling confident, feeling capable, feeling less anxiety, stress, and even less physical pain. So do not slack with your exercise this summer, guys. My main advice when people ask my workout routine, but to be honest, you just need to find something that you're gonna stay consistent at and that you enjoy. If this is yoga, running, weightlifting, a sport, tennis, walking, literally whatever, as long as you are gonna be able to stay consistent at it and enjoy it, then that is gonna work for you. So for me, I like to switch mine up. So I don't stick to one thing, but I'll weightlift once or twice a week. I'll try to go for a run once or twice a week, play tennis once or twice a week, do 
my sports, you know, just switch it up because that keeps me interested and consistent. Okay, and then following on from this, something that I try to do is eat healthy and as balanced as I can. Now, especially in summer, this is definitely not possible because when I'm out with my friends and we're all getting McDonald's or just like some takeaway, I'm gonna get that as well. But when I'm cooking for myself, I'll always try to cook myself like a healthy and balanced meal. My main tips, try to get your five veggies, uh, five a day in, so that's like five fruit or veggies a day. Also focus on adding to your meals. So say if I cook myself like ramen, I will try to add an egg in there for protein, some pak choy for my veggies. Just focus on adding to your meals. And if you're busy like me, especially in summer, then I always have the perfect solution for you and this is HelloFresh. So HelloFresh has literally been a lifesaver because I like to be very busy in summer. I like to do as much as I can, say yes to everything I can. Having time to cook myself meals can sometimes be a struggle and this is when I've been using HelloFresh. HelloFresh will help you with your daily routine and your meal planning. They provide the best ingredients and I kid you not the tastiest recipes. Like I'm no chef but my HelloFresh meals always bang. Like they always taste good. My favorite range on the HelloFresh is like, like rapid recipes and you can cook a healthy meal in literally just 20 minutes. I literally feel like a chef. Look at me go. I've got the noodles cooked, the pork and the peppers are in the pan, and then I've just mixed up the little sauce to go on top. It smells so good. All their boxes are filled with fresh ingredients only from reliable suppliers, and HelloFresh is genuinely such good value for money. Like, you can get meals from as cheap as £3.15 per portion, and this is without my discount. That's really good. I know, it smells so good. Mmm, so good. Mm. I'm gonna put a QR code on the screen which you can scan to get 60% off your first box, 60% and then 25% off for the next two months. There will also be a link in the description which you guys can click. So I'd highly recommend HelloFresh if you are trying to eat healthier this summer. Okay, so now into more of the little things which I think are so important when having your glow up. And I'm starting this off with again reminding everyone of the basics. Hygiene. Hygiene is so important. This is showering once a day minimum. Cleaning your teeth twice a day minimum. Flossing, mouthwash, using deodorant i've heard some people say they don't use deodorant before girl put on some deodorant it just basic hygiene i think is so important and i'm gonna be real with you guys one of the biggest things for me anyway is smelling good like when i smell someone and they smell good i'm like oh they smell so good. I would say go invest in some perfume. If you're looking for more expensive perfumes, my favorite ones that I always get compliments on are the Versace Crystal Noir or the YSL Black Opium. But honestly, if you don't want to spend too much money on perfumes, Zara do such good value for money perfumes. And I love Zara perfumes. I think they're as cheap as like $12.99 for like a a decent sized bottle. So just go to Zara, spray some different perfumes, find which one you like, find your signature scent and start wearing perfume when you go out. And then I'm gonna keep repeating this until you guys get it in your head, but it's the little details that count. So next up, I've got accessories and this includes like jewelry, sunglasses, rings, like just a little bit. You can have such a nice outfit, but just the way to step it up is by wearing rings, by wearing necklaces, earrings, adding little bits to your outfits and it's the little accessories I think make you stand out. Yeah, I just love adding jewelry and accessorizing. I really think this makes a difference. Okay, the next one is investing in your skincare. I think I finally nailed down a like quite a good skincare routine that works for me and I'm gonna do an updated skincare routine but this is like something you're gonna have to go away and research and spend time on. Watch YouTube videos, look it up, watch TikToks and research the best skincare products for your skin type because everyone's skin type is different and what works for me might not work for someone else, it might do. But spend some time researching and find some products that you think will work for your skin type and then stick to the skincare routine twice a day. It doesn't have to be seven, eight steps. It can be quite small, but just stick to it. This goes the same for a hair care routine. This is something I've been implementing recently, where I've been experimenting with oiling my hair, using a scalp massager. Another tip, if you guys didn't already do this, is only shampooing your roots and then conditioning the ends of your hair. Stops your hair looking as greasy, I find. Also, do not wash your hair every single day. Like, wash every other day at a minimum. I can go up to six days before I'll wash my hair again, which may sound gross to some people, but my hair has now been trained that it can go like up to six days without getting too bad or like too greasy And if it is I just slick it back into a ponytail But washing your hair every day will just take away like the natural oils from your hair so I would really try and train your hair if you do do that to wash it at least every other day Also, I have pin straight hair which I'm very lucky for but if you have curly hair or if you want to enhance your curls Go look up some curly hair tutorials Um, Go look up how you can enhance your natural curls because I think curls are beautiful and if you're lucky enough 
enough to have them go find ways that you can enhance them and make them and make them even more beautiful than they are or whatever sort of hair type you have go find people who have similar hair type to you and see what's worked for them and try to figure out what will work for you okay the next one is a little controversial on whether it works or not because i know a lot of people don't believe it works i don't know whether like i feel like my face has changed a bit and it could be from guasharing this could be from drinking more water more sleep exercise but i genuinely think that guasharing has made a difference to my face and obviously this is up to you but i do think that guasharing is just structured and contoured my face more i do it once a day minimum sometimes twice if i'm have more time and i just looked up some basic five minute tutorial and i've just been following that but i just think it helps with depuffing my face especially in the morning um, so if you're looking for some physical self-care that you want to try implement into your morning or night routine i would recommend gusharing okay moisturizing now i don't know why i used to like rarely moisturize and i would get the driest skin like my knees would be proper crusty and even now in summer especially because it's hot and same outside sunbathing if i don't moisturize my knees and my elbows go so crusty like i love it when my skin feels smooth but yeah you can't be bothered to put it all over your body just put it on your dry parts of your skin and then your skin will be all soft and glowy okay and also just some maintenance things that i have been doing which i didn't realize was so important but keeping your brows maintained so for me i think my brows play such a big role in how i look and i'm like Lucky that I've learned to do them myself. So I will do my brows like twice a week minimum. Tweeze them, I brush them up, and I put gel on them every day. And adding to that is constantly carrying around a lip balm with you and moisturizing your lips. So whether this is Vaseline, Carmex, you know, your Glossier Balm or Con, whatever, just constantly carry around with you and moisturize those lips because nothing is worse than very dry, crusty lips. And now I've covered a lot of the physical things I did to have a glow up. I also want to talk a little bit more about my mentality because genuinely, I know a lot of you guys won't believe me, but when I say, if you radiate confidence you will be perceived in a more confident way more attractive way it is all about how you show yourself to others and following on from this and having confidence if you are constantly nitpicking at small things that honestly only you'll be able to spot like a little spot or there's something wrong with your eyebrow other people will notice it if you bring it up if you just don't speak about it you forget about yourself like it's irrelevant you're gorgeous anyway other people aren't going to notice it if you radiate this confidence other people will perceive you like that i cannot say it enough you give out out an energy and that is how people will perceive you if you don't believe me literally think of people you have met like when i'm with someone who's so confident and outgoing i'm like oh my god you are gorgeous and people having very like gorgeous personalities i think makes them more gorgeous as a person someone i want to be friends with and finally a little mindset change that i want to put you guys on is becoming a yes girly now i know i've heard this on tiktok and people speaking about how they want to say yes to everything and i could not agree with this more i am the biggest yes girly i try to say yes to as many things as i physically can or can fit into my days and i never regret it like okay sometimes you might go out and you might not have as much fun but it's like just go for it because you never know like you could say yes to some plans and have the best night of your life you could go meet some new friends like romanticize your life and do as much as you can say as yes to as many things as you can and if you're not being invited to a bunch of things make plans with people like don't sit around and wait for other people to ask you go ask someone if they want to go for lunch they want to go for coffee they want to go to cinema they want to go shopping etc feel your life with exciting things that you will enjoy and that is your complete guide to glowing up this year and reaching your full potential i believe this so-called glow up which has been a trend for so long is a longer process than you know just simply getting your lashes and nails done as much as that will make you feel better and these are the things that i've been trying to do for the last year or two that i've sort of noticed has made a difference i hope you guys got some good inspiration from this and that you're all having an amazing summer so far remember to go check out hello fresh i put the link in the description i love you all so much and i'll see you all next time